Hello everybody and welcome back to Insights and Automation. After going over the official Arduino starter kit in our previous video, we decided to take a look at all the other options on the market for Arduino starter kits. We picked out three we thought were a good variety based on value, and today we'll be looking at the cheapest of the three kits. Coming in at just $20, we have the Smraza Ultimate Starter Kit. Considering that this comes with an Arduino Uno inside, Getting an entire kit for just $20 is a real bargain. It came pretty well packaged in bubble wrap, inside a tight-fitting box, which is always great to see. It seems to be densely filled, so I don't think there was any way for loose items to bounce around. Not a ton of fancy branding like on the official Arduino kit. Let's go ahead and open this guy up. We have the name of the kit here, and on the back we have a comprehensive parts list we'll be going through. We also have a resistor diagram, quite useful for beginners, and the link to download the tutorials and the code will be running today. Alright, with that to the side, our first pack in the kit is a good amount of resistors, both 10 kilo ohm and a set of 330 ohms. A little propeller for making your own water mover, a USB type A to type B cable, though one unpractically short, not a fan of that, here we have the temperature and humidity sensor, a big bundle of jumper cables, long and short, a very handy 9 volt battery connector to give the Arduino power away from the PC. This kit has a smaller breadboard, about the size of the one of the official kit comes with. Here we have a standard servo motor, some keycaps and active buzzer, a variety pack of basic LEDs, a metal potentiometer, a nice upgrade compared to the cheap plastic one from the official kit. A nice plexi shield to mount our Uno and breadboard to. Here we have the dividers to organize our container. A 74HC595 LED driver, very useful for running multiple LEDs. Here we have a four digit segment display. A nice little 5 volt relay, our DC motor, and finally, an included screwdriver for assembling the Arduino's shield. Let's go ahead and take out our breadboard. Now, the star of the show, the Uno. This Uno comes in jet black, a stark comparison to the soft aqua blue of the Arduino branded chip. So far, I'm really impressed with everything included. Other than the disappointingly short USB cable, this is a really nice collection of components you can have a whole load of fun with, including making many of the projects from the official projects book, or any number of free online projects. Let's go ahead and take a look at a few of the projects unique to this kit. First, we have a neat little traffic light setup, working off a predetermined interval. I'd love to try and rework it using proximity input, but that would be a project for another day. Here we have a rather difficult to maneuver circuit where we have three buttons acting like the responders in a game show. Once one lights up, the others can't until the reset button is pressed. A really cool idea, but really cramped on this small breadboard.
Finally, we hook up our potentiometer and our servo motor. And with this circuit and code, we can control the movement of the servo in a one-to-one -one movement with our input. This sort of circuit could be very useful for a whole litany of projects. So, having looked over this kit, and having already gone through the others that we'll be demonstrating in later videos, I can confidently say that for $20, this is a really good value. Many of the projects in the official kit can be done using what comes with this one, and you're saving over $70. While there's definitely a drop in quality from having a hands-on book that comes with your kit versus having to go online and having to download everything as PDF, I have a hard time justifying buying the official kit when you have such a good deal here. Even compared to the other two kits, you get a lot out of this small kit. And for beginners, I definitely recommend picking up something like this. Especially if you aren't sure if Arduinos are the path forward for you and your use cases. Anyways, we'll be taking a look at the other two kits in later videos. But for now, please make sure to subscribe and take a look at our other videos and articles on Arduinos. Thank you, and see you in the next one.